Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at a Silencer Co. Omega 36M multi-caliber suppressor. And I was actually in Salt Lake City when they launched this about seven years ago. I couldn't wait to get my hands on one. And recently, I just got it approved and everything. Very happy with it so far. It's extremely adaptable. There's a lot you could do with this. It's not your average suppressor. And let me tell you why. The first thing is what I already mentioned. It's multi-caliber. It will accept handgun loads from nine millimeter and smaller, all the way down to 22. And also, it will accept rifle loads up to 338 Lapua or 350 Legend. So it'll take just about any rifle caliber that you can think of as well as nine millimeter and shorter. Secondly, that is super cool is that it is built with titanium and it does not have baffles. So I have another suppressor that has baffles. This does not have baffles. It does not come apart for the most part. You cannot take the internals art out. And the theory there is as it fires rounds through it, it cleans itself out. So you don't have to clean it. And I think that is certainly an advantage. And titanium is no joke. And I have another suppressor with baffles and it gets very dirty. This one, it's not supposed to happen that way. And from all intents and purposes, it doesn't. Another thing is that it is modular. This is in its short form. It's set up for handgun. That's the mount right there. But if I put this mount on here, this will extend the length of the suppressor to that long. And I could also use that with handgun. And it also comes with this ASR mount for rifle. Okay, it comes with it. So you get an ASR flash hider or muzzle device, and it's very easy to install shoot rifle all day long with the Omega 36M. Another thing is that the price, we're looking at a little under 1200, 1169 is the MSRP. And you may say, well, I can get a suppressor for less than that. That's true, but you can't get a multi-caliber suppressor that I'm aware of for less than that. So with everything you could do with this and what they offer in the case, including additional tools to take it apart. And honestly, it took me a little bit to learn it, but after a couple times, I have it down quite a bit. There are some additional parts that you have to purchase with this. To put it on rifle, you have to have an ASR flash hider or muzzle device, all right? And those are all available, easy to find, but you have to have that. Also, the Charlie piston mount for pistol because the pistols have the browning locking device where the, the barrel shifts up and down. That requires the Charlie piston mount. Once you have those parts and you have the accessories to mount the parts, which pretty much comes with the suppressor in the box, you could shoot suppressed with a multitude of calibers. And for the 1169, that's only the MSRP, it sure does offer a lot. It's a bit thick, but with that titanium internal piece in there, that is so cool. And everything you could do with it, I find it an advantage to have this suppressor over one that just offers one or two calibers. And this is why suppressor height sights are so important. This is a thicker suppressor because it is rifle round rated. But you look at that front sight and you look at the tall rear sights and with a threaded barrel, you still can access the, the top of that front sight. I'm gonna shoot the XDM Elite into the burb without the suppressor. You probably heard the iron targets greater than you heard the shot. So let me go ahead and load it up and I'll shoot into the berm. These are Fiocchi 147 grain, full metal jacket, nine millimeter, shooting into the berm. Pretty incredible. Let me put those same rounds in unsuppressed. Same XDM Elite, unsuppressed, same rounds. B 
big difference. Let me put that front end on. You'll see the difference in the length of the suppressor and perhaps a difference in the suppression itself. Fiocchi subsonic 147 grain and the longer version of the same suppressor shooting into the berm. The standard Igman full metal jacket 124 grain. I certainly could pick that up being that I'm not wearing air protection. There was a big difference between the subsonic and the 124 grains. But nonetheless, the difference with the length of the suppressor made it much more suppressive in terms of the sound. And it certainly is a nice touch. And this is how you would shoot with rifle. Speaking of such, let's go get the rifle and we'll change out the mounts. Here we have my Delton Sierra 316L and no suppression. Let's go ahead and see how this does. All right, let me put the Omega 36M on. There it is, safety off. Pretty amazing difference. I had my Air Pro in, now I just took it out. Let's take a few shots. You still hear the snap quite a bit, but it's not too bad. And this is a big pit here. If I was surrounded by trees or, of course, indoor shooting, I'd certainly want to wear ear protection. So that is the Silencer Co. Omega 36M. My weight after certifying with the ATF was two weeks. And that's a lot better than the 10 and a half months that I had to wait approximately 10 years ago when I got my 22 suppressor. Very happy to have it. I think it's a phenomenal suppressor. Love it that it's multi-caliber and everything you can do with it. A bit thick, but it certainly suppresses everything you need to quiet down. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.